Hey, what's up there, crew? Matt Pasalo here with rhinestoneworld.com. This is Ask Max, season two, episode 262. So today's episode, got a ton of questions. We just got the blade holders in today. They are ready to go. And the questions are, what blade goes with what blade holder and goes with what cutter? So I'm gonna run through that for you guys here real quick to make it super simple. So let me show you the blade here first, or the blade holder. And this one's gonna be for the Graph Tech and the Cameo cutters. There it is. They just fall out of the sky. So this one here is the TRW Cameo and Graph Tech blade holder. So this one is actually going to use our 45 degree or 60 degree blade. And I will show you how to insert those. But then let me show you the other blade holder real quick. And let's get this back up there. And down comes the rolling. Look at that. You throw it up, a new one comes down. This is the rolling in GCC blade holder, which again is a little bit different. Okay, a little bit different, but again, can be used with our clean cut blades and a different blade. And this is where people are getting confused as far as do I need this blade holder when I use the Cricut Explorer Air or the Cricut Maker? Can I use it with the Cricut Joy? Can I use this one with a Cameo and so on? So I'm gonna roll through what you can and can't use the different blade holders for. And then if you actually need additional holder or you just need one of the clean cut blades that cut so much cleaner, they gonna last so much longer than just the basic blades that come with it. So let's check them all out. Okay, so the first one we're gonna cover here is our TRW Cameo and Graph Tech blade holder. So the holder does not come with a blade. This is actually just the actual holder. So let's pull this out of here. And then the blade that you're gonna want for this is our clean cut blade. And it's the AGTK 45 degree blade. And we also have a 60 degree blade with this as well, but I use the 45 for everything. So I'm gonna open this up. We have our 45 degree blade in here, all right? Now, for your blade holder, all you're gonna do is twist off the black part right here. And then you're gonna see this part has a little spring in it. So we're just gonna carefully grab our blade here and just insert it into that spot there. And now you can see the blade can kind of pop out the bottom there with the spring. Let's grab our original main piece of the holder, twist that all the way back on and now to adjust the blade, you can see the blade's not showing at all. You're gonna twist this top part. So as I twist that out, see the blade coming out now? Now what you don't want is this, where the blade's coming way out like that. You actually want the blade to be out enough to where it can't really cut your finger. The more you put the blade out, the worse it's gonna cut. So I'm normally right about that spot right there. When I roll my finger over it, I know it's not gonna cut me. So let me roll through the different cutters that you'll use with this blade holder. So one of them that we can right here is the Silhouette Cameo 4, but when we use the Cameo 4, we'll need this housing that comes with it. So let me show you how this works. So you'll see a little bag that comes with your Cameo 4 that has some different color housings like this. This is kind of a, I would say like a brownish gray color. You're just gonna open this up and then your blade holder, the Cameo Graph Tech blade holder, this little slot right there is going to fit into that spot right there. So see how that fit in there perfect? Bring this back and close that up. And now this is ready for my Cameo 4. So when I bring this back over to my Cameo, I'm just going to drop it in right there, push that in and lock it, and we are rocking and rolling. Now remember, this isn't an auto blade, so the twist is how far the blade's out. The only thing you're going to worry now is the pressure when you're cutting your different designs. So just make sure to do some test cuts off the start to get that right. All right, now we're gonna find out what other cutter we can use this blade holder with. Now this here is a Silhouette Cameo 3. With the Cameo 3, which is nice, you don't even need that additional housing. You can just drop this right into the Cameo 3 here, push it down, lock that in, and then our blade is good to go. 
And this is the exact same when it comes to the Cameo 2 and the Cameo 1. So this blade holder is actually compatible with the Cameo 1, the Cameo 2, and the Cameo 3 without any additional housing. And then the Cameo 4, you'll use that brownish gray housing to put the actual holder in. And where you can really see that you know that it fits is see that little area right there? See how it's the exact same distance down right over here? This is the Cameo 3 Auto Blade and then the blade holder, the TRW Cameo Graftech blade holder, and you can see how nice that is. And where you're getting the benefit isn't necessarily the blade holder. The huge benefit is using the clean cut blade here. And my clean cut blade currently on my Graftech, I've been using for over a year now, and it's still cutting great. So you're gonna get cleaner cuts, better cuts, and longer cuts. Now, another big question is, can we use it on the actual Graftech cutter? We can spin this off. This is the original Graftech blade holder. Drop this in here, make sure it's over top. And now I have it set up for my graph tech. Now with the graph tech, just make sure again, that little slot right there is down underneath this black part right there. So that is all of our uses for the TRW Cameo graph tech blade holder. And this blade holder is only $16.95 on the website, the rhinestoneworld.com. And then the Clean cut blades range anywhere from $15.95 to $17.95. But again, gonna last much longer. So Cameo 1, Cameo 2, Cameo 3, Cameo 4. It actually even works with the portrait, the silhouette portrait, and then the actual graph tech cutters. Now let's get into our other blade and blade holder. Now our next one is the, the Roland GCC blade holder. Okay, so this blade holder will work with your Roland and your GCC cutter. Just make sure depending on which GCC cutter you have, okay? So specific GCC cutters, it will not work on, so just check the website to make sure it's good for your GCC cutter. But again, where you're gonna see a big benefit is all of you Cricut users. So the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explorer Air 2 using our TRW Clean Cut Blade and I'm gonna come over here. We have our Cricut Explore Air 2 here. I'm gonna take out my actual blade holder that comes with the Cricut. And what's awesome about that is this Roland 45 degree blade, the clean cut blade, will fit perfectly in there. And now I have an industrial blade inside my craft cutter. So again, with the Cricut Explorer Air 2, with the Cricut Maker, you're gonna get much cleaner cuts. Your blade's gonna last a lot longer. It's gonna be easier to weed different items when you're using glitters and magic flock and different things like that. So blade holder will work for your rolling in the specific GCCs, but all of you Cricut users, your big piece is this right here the Roland 45 or 65 degree TRW clean cut blade that will fit into the housing of your Cricut vinyl cutter. To get better cuts, longer cuts, last longer, save you money. So hopefully this video helps you guys understand the different blade holders and the different blades as far as how in the long run, even though the blade might cost a little bit more, a couple dollars more, it's gonna last you so much longer, it's gonna save you so much money and getting cleaner cuts, for example, on your Silhouette Cameo or on your Cricut, that means you're gonna waste, obviously, less heat transfer vinyl, less sign vinyl, all of less materials of waste, which in turn is more money for you. So again, hopefully this helps you out. If you do have any questions on the blades, make sure to comment below, let me know, click that like button, click that subscribe button, the little bell right next to it, so you get a notification each time I create an awesome video like this for the Ask Mats every single day on the Rhinestone World YouTube channel, and I will put the links to the blade holders and to the actual blades in the description below right here, so you can get to them really easy, and I'll also put next to it which cutter those will work for. So thanks for watching guys. Have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow. Later.